Barry Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Zero Barriers podcast. Eli here again with Charlie, and um, today we have another topic, um, which we'll get into. But firstly, let's ask, how are you, Charlie? I'm okay. Eight weeks of lockdown, tough. It just but doesn't end, does it? The yep. biggest, the we hit the biggest case numbers today 633 it's, and it's grim it's grim um i will get to some positives though that um we can be hopeful for but uh in terms of my life personally probably the worst year of my life last week um i'm recording this on wednesday the 18th so it comes out comes out on the thursday but um yeah look last week was terrible um and I think it was terrible because I was actually doing some stuff that were really good for me. But, however, um, some of those things that I was being proactive about have pretty bad withdrawal symptoms. I won't go into it, but I will on another podcast. So stay tuned for that. I don't want to talk about it just yet because I'm not completely, you know. Well, yeah, like I won't say anymore, but yeah. It's raw. Uh, it's raw. Last year was, uh, I mean, last week, sorry, yeah, just lots of personal things happening and stuff with yeah. family, and um, it was just a really hard week, and um, yeah, nothing seemed to go right, to be honest, and I just, there was, a, there was a point, and this is why we have this podcast, so we can talk about topics like this, but there was honestly a point where I was like, ah, I just want to check out, like, I was done. I was like, I don't want to be on this planet anymore. And I've never really said that and meant it. Like, I've said it before, but I have kind of half meant it. Like, mm-hmm. I've been depressed, but not not depressed where I just wanted to die. But there was actually a point on Sunday, I believe it was, where I was like, no, nah, like, this is just too much. Mm-hmm. But the last few days, I will say, I've been a lot positive. And, you know, I will say I'll give myself credit for being here and speaking about it, but also just being able to record a podcast again um today's topic isn't anything to do with that i just thought i'd bring it up because i just don't want to like i don't know i don't want to appear like i'm happy one minute and depressed the next because that's not i mean i guess it kind of is like that in a sense but yeah Mm. i guess i'm holding myself together and i i don't want to with with this podcast i um i was speaking to kenji and he said, oh, you know, how come it flows so naturally? You know, don't you get, like, um, nervous um, and sort of, uh, you know, you remember that you, you're talking to an audience. But then I, I said to him, it's actually I'm just, like, talking to you. It is like so that, that's why, it? That, no, it but is. That's, that's exactly it is. right. That's all I'm doing. I'm just talking to you when I'm we're recording this. I'm not even. I'm, that's yeah, it, man. I, I, like it's just two guys just chatting. That's why we chat. That's there's no formality to this. And like we're just like, chatting shit. This is I how agree. we chat. We're not making it up. <laughs> and this and is you would agree. This talk. is how we talk outside of like the podcast. Yeah. This too. isn't. This like isn't, the only this thing is, that's yeah. different. I feel is like maybe the tone of voice. Sometimes it's maybe more more. I guess professional. If that makes sense. Yeah, but I'm like, like but it's still it's still conversational, isn't it? Like this is just like chatting to you over the phone, which yeah. it is really. <laughs> so, like, and maybe this is why it is working because it's not formal and it's not you know we're not in a studio or whatever. Like this is just this is just life and like it's raw, <clears throat> and I think that's what the podcast like when we set out. You know, that's what we that, wanted to exactly. That's right. We wanted to talk about stuff that don't get talked about and just be honest and open about stuff and. I guess it's been um I guess it's been pretty easy like yeah just been really easy to sort of flow like conversation to conversation and I feel like today's topic which I've chosen is um is one that's going to flow nicely as well because um it's something that people ask ask maybe they ask themselves or they ask you know other people but um should we get into it yeah, yeah. Hit me Let's topic. get into it. So not really, I mean, this actually is kind of relevant to something that has been on my mind at the moment. I, as I said, lots of stuff going on. This is just one small thing. But the topic is, um, can people change? Uh, like, 
can we change? Can anyone really, truly change? Or throughout our lives, are we, I guess, des- destined to the same personality, the same behaviors, the same traits? And um, I'm going to just kick kick things off straight off the bat and say that we absolutely can change. People can absolutely change. And I hope that you can agree with me there. Um, I'm going to delve deep into this, but that's going to be my viewpoint, and I'll state that clear. Obviously, I'll, we'll look at the opposing viewpoint, but I'm stating that clear now. I think people truly can change. Um, and that's why, uh, yeah, I mean, there's obviously... Um, Ex- exemptions to this i'm not saying that a mass murderer can necessarily change although they can they can a mass murderer though you know a lot of like you see a lot of people in jail i think um 88 percent, 88 percent or 80 percent i don't know reoffend. Ken, you have to get me on that fact i'm sure he'll pull me up on it but i know it's a high amount of people that go to jail actually reoffend. um yeah, Which you got to make look, yeah. believe that people don't change, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the view that we can ab- absolutely change. Uh, what's your initial thoughts though, Charlie? What's your viewpoint? Just touching back on the jail thing, I think, and actually this in general, it's the environment. <laughs> so if the environment's mm-hmm. not right, the person's not going to change. Like, do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, anyway, absolutely. but yeah, yeah, going back, yeah, my point is um skip is like a healthy argument i think um, i'll i'll oppose and i'll say i don't think you can change um oh, just to just to okay. keep no just to Wait, keep is that the, what you truly believe or is that just no the no no i think that's just i'll just stick with that just to have so we can yeah. have a bit of opposing um no i don't i don't fully believe that i think you can change but um yeah but just for this just for the purpose of this i'll i'll, uh, I'll oppose so you can so we can um, have a bit of a healthier um, yeah, conversation. Yeah. Now, like when, yeah. when we talk about change, uh, I want to clarify, I'm not just talking about small changes. For example, a small change might be the fact that um, I just took my beanie off a second ago, but uh, it's pretty, it's, it's noticeable now. Some people only have just realized, literally, my older sister, I guess because I haven't seen her, because of lockdown, and I literally chopped my man bun off like a week before lockdown. I think it was a couple of weeks before lockdown. Mm. It wouldn't have been any wouldn't have been any more than two weeks before lockdown that I chopped it off. Um, but um, basically, um, because I hadn't seen her, she only noticed the other day that I'd cut it off. But um, anyway, that is a small change, cutting the man bun off, right? Like, that was something that I was like, nah, I won't ever cut it off. I won't ever cut it off. I'm going to grow it for a long time. And then eventually I changed my viewpoint. And then eventually I decided I wanted to change and I wanted to cut it. Now, like those type of things, um, those things definitely like are easy, easy things to change. When I'm talking about change in this podcast, I'm talking about major change. I'm talking about like massive personality shifts. I'm talking about narcissists changing and becoming selfless. Um, so, yeah, I want to make that clear. And I, I, I want to start off by just saying that our experts, <laughs> the little bit of research I know about this, mental health experts and um, just researchers, so not just people that have studied mental health, um, there's studies, there's like 200 studies um found that uh with the right treatment people are able to change their personalities so what i'm saying is supported by research but i'm not going to use that as the cop out here i'm going to simply go off what i think is true um yeah so i guess where do we start with this i mean if you're going with an opposing view to this you've got to end up agreeing with me though like with so much of this because yeah i um, mean i do i i mean i do in in out of this podcast uh yeah i do i do agree but um i we can't both agree otherwise i'm going to start with a, an, an example of i of uh a drug abuser so no one in particular 
not even an, a drug. This isn't even a real person right now, okay? I'm just going to say that let's imagine that we have Gregory here. I like the name, Gregory. Um, Gregory. He's addicted to cocaine, heroin, and meth. Um, He's been addicted for 15 years. Every time he tries to withdraw, he fails. Now, a lot of people would say, and I hate people that do say this, they go, well, he's never going to change. He can't change. He's always going to be addicted to the drugs, and it's going to be what ends up killing him. Um, And unfortunately, sometimes people actually do withdraw, and it's actually the withdrawal that kills them. I don't know if you know about too much about that, but when people, like withdraw from alcohol a lot of the time and this is why bottle shops are probably deemed essential is that um people withdraw from alcohol and then they just drop because they've been so dependent on alcohol their whole life and i don't know it actually keeps them alive in some sense but um yeah so i'm going to use this example here and i'm going to say that absolutely this guy who has been addicted for say 15 years can absolutely turn around and change now it takes time it takes effort but um i think any person if they truly want to can absolutely change and even if they don't want to i feel like people naturally change do you think and, hitler could have changed well yeah and i was gonna wait for the i was waiting for <laughs> you're, you're waiting for the idiots to say that. <laughs> i was no i was seriously thinking about this like pre pre-recording today like i was thinking about this the other day when the topic was in mind like there's people here like okay so (laughs) there's that joke where some people go who's hitler he was just an uh, austrian artist right (laughs) (laughs) now i'm not laughing at the fact that like you know that's necessarily funny it's more just the sad fact that um people actually uh, there's people out there that truly believe that, um, which is pretty sad. No, but, um, b- believe what? No, he was he was he was yeah, Australian. Okay. He was an Look, he, he went down a wrong track. Now, okay. <laughs> now hold on a second though. Could he have changed? Mm, I'm not suggesting. Now I said at the start of this podcast, not everyone can change, and I'm going to continue su- to suggest that. And I think that Hitler is one of those examples where, yeah, probably he went too not, far. <laughs> probably not curable. Yeah. But, okay, but there, there's people. I don't, okay, here's here's a question for you: Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah, because cheater can't lose its spots. That's hilarious, but. Uh, <laughs> You can take the girl out of Penrith, but you can't take Penrith out of the out girl. The girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but like I've I've seen people in their past be cheaters or display tons of infidelity. And I've been at a, some sort of similar stages. I've never physically cheated on someone, but like Emotionally, yes. And I feel like the person that I've become is not that type of person. Um, Charlie's gone all... No, the no. like, was... what's going on? No, keep on talking, keep on talking. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. That's a really... It's a really hard topic because people... A lot of people think that if you cheat, like, you're always going to cheat. And you're never going to change. But I've seen 16-year-old quote-unquote fuckboys, as they like to call them, which are mm-hmm. basically... Well, how would you describe a fuckboy, Charlie? I don't know. I, I guess I'm someone up. works with <laughs> everyone and plays around with females and their feelings, I guess, right? Um, it's more of an American thing, isn't it? Yeah, I would say it's uh, American-Australian... But, um, yeah, basically, it's basically someone who, let's get the, I, I feel like getting the Urban Dictionary out and seeing what they have yeah, to say. Right. I'm going to pull that up. But, um, they say a fuckboy is someone who says, I'm, 
bad re- no a boy who is a player and is only in a relationship for sex yeah i mean that's sort of true um yeah. and here's another example a boy who plays with girls feelings and doesn't really like them and would do st- say anything a girl wants to hear to have sex with them or to get any to get something they want they know what girls want to hear but they they hurt so many girls once they are, here we go. Once they are a fuckboy, they'll always be a fuckboy. See, I don't agree with that. And that's <laughs> where I'm going. for life. <laughs> I am suggesting that uh, I've seen like people from 16 be like that, and then watching them grow and develop and who they are now, and they're 22 and they're not like that anymore. And maybe they have those tendencies, but um, I think it's something that you can overcome. Another it's an age thing. It's a maturity exactly, thing. Exactly. And that, I think that's where I'm trying to go with this. It's 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 all down to how mature you are as a person and that stage of your life. Now, like, God, I, I mean, I know the male brain takes like, I think it's like 30 when our brain's fully developed, right? Mm. Something like oh, that. It, uh, yeah, fully matured like that, and yeah. developed. In the female yeah. brain, it's a lot younger. It's like 24, 25. And this is why you see 18-year-old ma- uh, eighteen year old females who are bloody way more mature than, um, like, males that are 22, 23 our age, right? And this is why I have no problem with a 22-year-old, 23-year-old dating an 18-year-old because the maturity difference is not that different in my opinion personal opinion and this is coming from a male i'm not trying to bring down males but it's accurately true honestly and i know this because a lot of my friends my age are still maturing or they're finally maturing and there's still a long way to go yet (laughs) i can talk to you know i can talk to an 18 plus 19 year old girl about like a serious topic and i would probably get the same sort of response and um conversation seriousness yeah. as with a male my age well when i was 18 and i've spoken about this before when i opened up about mental health and stuff i got a really negative reaction just and shut that, down yeah yeah and i think that just comes from would you say that comes from immaturity like yeah and not knowing how to deal with the emotions uh, yeah, I, guess I don't know. Maybe when it's you're a different that young. side of maturity, though, isn't it? It's not like uh, it's more serious. Yeah, it's not like your typical maturity, though, where it's like, ha, huh, you know, it's immature that he made a joke about sex. It's like, it's more. It's a deeper maturity. It's more like a emotional understanding. Some people can't. Yes, yeah, some people. I know for myself, I definitely can't deal with emotion. So if someone was to open up, you know, I'm just. I wouldn't shut them down, but I'd, I'd freeze, I think. Why not I freeze? Mm-hmm. But how do you, like, um, respond to that kind of... How do you I, respond? Obviously, to... obviously um, in a... And, no, it's it's more, like, it's more um, actually in in person, like, when I'm with that person. Like, you know, if something happened, like, if you get into an argument or someone starts crying or something, it's like I just, like, like shut down and just like everything to de-escalate the situation just yeah anyway yeah i don't know but anyway that that's um what was that going on about what was what was the top what was the uh we were talking about well just maturity in general i think is how Mm. like a big step in people's um how how people change um like personality wise um I mean, obviously, some small things change. I mean, six-year-old you, and big things too, like six-year-old you is not going to be the same person as 20-year-old you. Yeah. In so, a weird way as well, like at school, I did stuff because I did like wilderness education and I did stuff that I definitely not do now. Like looking back on it, like <laughs> some of the stuff exactly, I did. Exactly, man. And honestly, that is the same with like, my behaviors and things that i've done in the past and i things i've like how i've treated relationships and friendships Mm. like it's all about experience and i guess um i don't know i guess reflecting and looking back and being like well is this who i want to be 
and that's why I think if you want to change, you really have to want to change. Um, whether you need to or not, you can't like magically think that you're going to just be a different person. You actually have to be proactive about it. You have to resist behaviors, resist temptations. Um, mm-hmm. You can have all the tools in the world, but like if you don't want to change, then you're never going to change. Yeah, you and you actually have to world, practice but... like changing. So, for example, um, here is an element of me that I think is a big thing that's changed, not just a small thing, but a big thing. And I think it's something that um, like definitely helps my my case here about change because um, I used to post like controversial and opinionated stuff on my Facebook all the time. I got a really huge reputation for that in high school and just after high school. Um, I would say that that's sort of stopped literally probably the last, like, year or so. Like, um, before that, it was just constant. Now, it's not that I don't still post controversial stuff occasionally. I will post my opinions on Instagram stories, and every now and then I'll post an opinion on Facebook. But no way to the extent of um no way to the extent of what i used to do and i think that shows change that shows maturity but it also shows that that's a part of my personality that's not there anymore and it's something that i've kind of pushed away and i've resisted the temptation for the benefit of my mental health i suppose and for the benefit of people liking me and ruining a bad reputation um, do you have a counter argument for that? Maybe like, well, if you're still doing it, then occasionally have you really changed? Or do you have a counter argument, or do you just agree with me? Uh, I think there's always going to be some element uh, that's still the same. Like the like maybe for instance like sugar, like um, you know trying to give that up, but then there's always going to be some. There's a small part of me that's like, well, you know, you could have a small bit of chocolate. That won't matter. Um, so, I don't know. But, yeah, I tend to, yeah, I tend to agree. With what uh, here, taboo topic, porn. Yeah. Okay. This was one of the things that I spoke about at the start, which I didn't want to talk about. I've been personally withdrawing, and I'm not going to um go into it too, oh, nice. <laughs> too much detail. <laughs> in this podcast but it's it's going to be a podcast topic on itself so (laughs) it's going to be live streamed (laughs) (laughs) but it's like like porn addiction is like really bad and i i'm gonna go into that in into another podcast but um honestly that's something that i've been actively trying to change just in the last week and i think that i can truly like remove that and this is from really well wow. being honest to myself this is from someone who's been addicted probably since i was 17 maybe even younger 16 younger. like i mean yeah. I, I watched it before then don't get me wrong but i'm not as like frequent not i wouldn't say i was addicted then right not four times a day <laughs> yeah <laughs> close but yeah <laughs> well, yeah no, <laughs> no. Um, but now I'm being proactive and I'm not saying, oh, praise me for being proactive. I'm the best person in the world. But I am saying that like you can change. You truly can. If you want to work on that part of you and that, you know, a behavior like that, you can do it. Do you know who's trying to call me? Who is trying to call? Yeah. Your camera's just gone off. Who do you think? Who do you think? The only person who who talks to me (laughs) either than you. (laughs) Sad reacts. <laughs> Sad yeah. It's true. <laughs> um, yeah, he's trying to call it. Should I should we answer it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Live caller. Live caller. Oh, Mr. White. Um <laughs> Nah, okay, going back on to it. Um yeah, no, look, yeah, you're right. Like if you set your mind to it, then you can change for sure. If you it's like anything really, like if you want something in life. You can definitely, you can definitely achieve it. You have to want to change, though. That's the thing. It can't be from someone else. Yeah. Your behaviors won't change if someone else just wants you to change them. And I've noticed, I've like realized that firsthand. Um, like relation. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> like relationship. Tell them, 
Oh my god, stop, stop calling. I'm I'm gonna have to call him. He says hi, by the way. We 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 were just uh we were just rudely interrupted by a phone call. But anyway, we're back recording, so sorry if this sounds How busy we are. I jumbled. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so that does remind me of the other day I messaged Charlie, being like, "Want to come for a sleepover <laughs> just to see um, your reaction?" <laughs> well, I said, "Ha ha ha!" What? Yeah, because <laughs> we did mention in a in a in a podcast like I think a couple of weeks ago, or it might have even been last week, about how grown grown men don't do the whole sleepover thing anymore. It's just it's just weird. I don't. I didn't know how to react. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know how to react to that. <laughs> And I and I was just joking. Well, I thought you were being serious, and I could see so many reasons why, <laughs> like why we might do that. Then I was like, well, the whole COVID. Anyway, we didn't, so we haven't broken any COVID rules. So <laughs> no one, no one complained. We didn't. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so uh, yeah, going back to what we were talking about. Where was it? Where were where we? Um, um it's, uh, yeah, changing. Like, yeah, if you set your mind to it, like you can change. Yeah, you need to. You need to want to change. So, yeah, I've been in relationships and had negative behaviors, which I haven't changed, and the other person wanted me to change, and I, and because deep down I didn't really care enough, and I mm. was maybe self selfish, I didn't change those behaviors. And then those behaviors continue on to next relationship, next serious relationship. And um, it just ended up, you know, it wasn't as bad, but still pretty bad sort of thing. Like, um, yeah, I guess with me, like it was school, like getting extra help, um, like tuition. Um, like I never accepted that. So, but that was like me, like I was given all the help in the world, but like, I didn't want to change. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's it. I mean, yeah, and I will. I wouldn't even say I was given the necessary help. Then I guess I was just kind of told, "Hey, this is bad. Like, you can't keep hurting me." And I, I was seeing the emotional impact that that was having, and I still didn't change. And now I can confidently say that I've been more proactive about um that, and um like when it comes to relationships and um well not just relationships but just in general being a better person like i said i'm not the best person but like i've truly wanted to change and that's why i have changed like it it wasn't from the um it wasn't just natural sort of it doesn't just come magically no it's not like uh you can't flick a switch sort of thing Uh, he's gone. What's he? Do- what? What's happened? Transmission's lost. What? Eli? Eli, come back! I don't know what to say. I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, I I got my hot chocolate. Uh, all right. Yeah. I tried. You know, I was I I was addicted for a while to hot chocolate. Like that was my thing. And you changed. Was, and I changed. One that's day, a small I stopped change. having hot chocolate. Everyone, yeah. everyone can make those small changes. Um, we're talking big, full, wide scale change. I know, but like, I mean, it's still the small thing. <laughs> it's personal wins. You know but, what? Um, though, like, it's all behavioral. It's, it's just your patterns, right? Like, what comes naturally to you? Yeah, exactly. It's like, um, and that comes down to genetics, personality, motivation environment like everything yeah like personality <laughs> disorders as well that's this is an interesting one yeah Nar- it's, like it's like some, narcissistic yeah. personality d- disorder like what or, is narcissist what does that what's yeah what does that mean what does it mean? MP, i actually thought that i had this for a long time but i i don't like basically it's it's found more commonly in men surprise surprise it's basically an inflated sense of self-importance. <laughs> um, it's I know. A, yeah. it's just it's a, like an excess, but like the main symptoms are like you disregard others, um, you can't handle criticism, you have a sense of entitlement, excessive need for admiration. So most celebrities. Yeah, pretty much. Kanye West. 
He's probably never been diagnosed with it, but I would say he has it. Um, another personality disorder, like uh, antisocial disorder or personality disorder, I think it's called. Um, however, mm-hmm. these things, as big as they are, and they literally make up your freaking personality, you can reprogram your brain. It is possible. Um, what what about like schizophrenia and yeah, multiple no, personality think. disorder and. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's hard, isn't it? That's hard. I mean, that's more of a... Yeah, that's that's more of an outlier. A, yeah. Like, because I feel like it's more... There's no, like, there's no cure, but it's treatable, right? Schizophrenia. Mm. And that's... But I think that's less to do with, like, you wanting to cure it. You know? I don't really know much about it. So yeah, well, enough yeah, neither. to talk about it, so... But uh, look, a lot of this, um, if you want to do some extra research, you can look up cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. I'm sure you're probably aware of it already. It's used for a lot yeah. of things. It's used for anxiety, depression, trauma, PTSD, stress. But these major things, like these massive personality disorders, like MPD and um, a- antisocial disorder, um, CBT is that it's used to like reprogram the negative behavior. Um, now, obviously, it's going to be extremely challenging to overcome those kind of things. It's not going to come mm-hmm. easy, is it? No, it's but not. I no. truly believe that if you know you can change if you put your mind to it and your heart is set on changing behaviors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like going back on about rehabilitation and the um prison system uh and you said there was like an 80 percent reoffending rate which is very high yeah well i'll look it up um so that 20 percent that do like the this the prison system actually works for like what? Look, I'm getting different numbers here when I'm looking at, but... All oh, right, okay. I, there's 44, in 2015 to 16, 44.6% of all Australian prisoners returned to jail within two years of release. That's, oh, only 44%. Yeah, but that's that, that's still a friggin' yeah, insane, I know, but, insanely yeah. high number. And I don't know. Not I, as I don't bad know if as 80%. True, but... There's probably more information on this. I don't know. Again, do your own research. Still, forty-four percent. Again, everyone, it's yeah, everyone listening to this, do your own research. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's very high. Um, but then you look at like. But then again, doesn't that that, that if it's only forty-four point six percent, which is still I think too way too high, but mm. it it actually proves that people can change and rehabilitate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, Maybe. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe they just I, don't want to get back into prison. <laughs> no, I know. I, but I, a lot yeah, of them probably... do. A lot of them do, don't they? They want to go back to prison. That's the sad. Yeah, it's the only way of life. Yeah. The street, yo. It's the... <laughs> I won't break in. I won't break into character. It's part of my mold. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, yeah, look. You, yeah, but you've got to have that desire to change. You can't just have empty promises, right? Yeah. Um, hey, while well, this is in my head, you know how we did, you did your little survey at the end of last podcast on religion. Oh, yes, of course. We were going to, um, discuss, discuss that. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure to do that. Um, do you want to do that now or do it at the end? Let's do it now while we're still remembering. Okay. Cause... Well, yeah. So we did a census a uh, Instagram poll census, shall we say. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I'll get the results up. Some interesting um, figures and numbers. I can't do percentages, though. It was five questions on my Instagram story. Um, I can't do percentages. I can only do the number of people who said things. Oh, unless, right. unless I can quickly do the percentage. I can do that. Hold on. How was about... it a mixture? Was it a mixture, though? It wasn't like... Yeah, it was. 
it was it was interesting numbers. I might quickly pause the um recording, which I normally won't wouldn't do, and quickly work out the percentages, Ooh, and then um. Well, maybe we could leave that for the next podcast. I don't know. Don't, no, no, we'll do it. Not... We'll do it. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm gonna yeah. stop. Pause. Okay. Yeah. We are back recording. We've just uh, crunched the numbers on this uh, on this census from my Instagram. <laughs> Took a bit of math and calculating, didn't it, Charlie? It did. Uh, yeah, this is actually uh, the <laughs> – what's the date today? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, okay, right. Tell this us is numbers. actually Christmas Day, 2022. <laughs> 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 We've got flying cars going past us. <laughs> <laughs> Census data. <laughs> Very quick and reliable. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you're interested to know the results yep. of this. Now, this is not a fair representation of society. This is just by Instagram followers. Yeah. <laughs> to this be is... honest, I feel like there's probably a personality type that um follows me on. Follow you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel like it's no, like you think it's like a bunch of edgy right wingers, but it's not. It's quite the opposite, which is intriguing. But without further ado, this is what we got. We got roughly 20% of follow up. Uh, well, not even followers, just people that looked at the poll were Christian. Uh, a little less than uh, 10% Islamic. Forty-six percent um, said agnostic, and twenty-three um, percent atheist. So, who agnostic, are your followers? Agnostic followers. <laughs> I feel like what? that's a trend now. Your... That's a trend. It's um, yeah. Anyway, so then we had a good book, a good movie, a good TV show, or a good podcast. What do you think the answer is for this one? A good book. Well, you're wrong. TV show. Correct. So. Because no one reads anymore. That's sad, but true. But uh, here we go. So good TV show got 43%. Uh, good movie got 27% roughly. Um, a good book, 19%. And a good podcast, 10%. Oh, a good podcast. I'll yeah, see. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to ours. <laughs> <laughs> now. For music, it was rap, pop, R&B, or alternative slash other. Obviously, it could only fit four genres. Uh, other slash alternative actually got 42%. Um, so, obviously, people have a diverse range of music tastes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't put jazz as an option because you'd be the only one that would pick it, Charlie. Um, no, I picked alternative slash other. I feel like, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the alternative the other is jazz. <laughs> well, it's no, it's other things. Other things. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, rap got thirty four percent, pop got seventeen percent, and uh, R and B got seven percent. <laughs> He's listening to Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for football, cricket, rugby league, or AFL for our uh, favorite sport, it was uh, football with forty four percent. That's football as in soccer. Um, yes. Rugby American. League, yeah. No, <laughs> that. Rugby league got 30%. AFL, 14%. Cricket, 13%. Not really surprised by that one. Um, mm. Last one was political opinions, which the least amount of people responded to. So the most amount of people um, responded to the good book, good movie, good TV, good podcast one. Probably because it was the easiest one to answer, and probably and only almost almost just over half of that mm. amount of people that answered that one answered this one, which was about politics. So maybe that shows people are a little less inclined to um to talk politics. But uh, that one was uh, center left got forty one percent, center right thirty percent, far right. A measly four percent, and far left twenty four percent. So that's nice. census. Our little census game completed. It's fun. So there you go. Any thoughts on that? You got a diverse group of um, 
followers of friends. Correct. Are they I followers of game, friends? I play a game, nothing. Friends? I don't know. Followers? Followers but... sounds followers sounds like you're running your own sort of cult. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't know if everyone that follow, follows me on Instagram is my friend. Yeah. He probably there's probably heaps of people that follow me that don't like me. They probably just follow me to I don't know. For the shit of it. Have you got any hate mail? I'm just kidding. I, we say some pretty whack stuff. <laughs> no hate me. mail so far, Charlie. Only positive stuff. Um, actually, before we continue on to our uh, conversation, though, um, I actually did get some good feedback last week. Um, so share, I won't mention names just in case. But um, <laughs> just out. in case they uh, regret this. Some, someone, I, I believe this was sent. Um, someone. Boy or a girl. This is a girl, and she messaged me and said, "Just listen to your podcast." She sent as a voice message, actually, and she said, "Yeah, really good. I just found it really funny when you guys said um, how Christianity was increasing, when um, the reason for that is mostly due to colonization." <laughs> and honestly, that is that is pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think people got to remember. That we're not looking up anything. Like we're not, we're not yeah. scientists. And we're not, we're not. Ed, we're, we're Eli's educated, but you know, I'm, I'm certainly not. <laughs> but yeah. No, I'm um, not saying anything negative. It was just a point there to be made, and I said, mm. yeah, I agree. And I also made the point about how it's also like how Islam is increasing due to, like, um, <laughs> Islamic families tend to have more children. A lot more children. What about the Chinese families? What about them? They the they only have the one child policy. They, actually, they so. don't anymore, but they don't. Apparently, their population is like decreasing at a hella rate. All right. I know Japan. Like they have a real issue with um, aging population. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because <laughs> they care too much about jobs and not enough about family. But anyway. Someone else also listened uh, and gave feedback. What did they say? Um, Never bring up religion or politics. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was a positive, more positive feedback. So yeah, thanks for the guy, people that listen and um, keep up with those um comments. I appreciate people listening, and we both appreciate it. So yeah, I tend to get like a few people message me after each episode. Just normally, it's just like either letting me know that they listened or they bring up some good points about the podcast but yeah like charlie said <laughs> we're not you got a nice start. glow in your face thanks That's man light. it's golden hour <laughs> it's it's just from outside because my All windows right. are wound down uh, the feng shui yeah. do you know, do you know, the feng shui yeah it's very important to have uh window windows in your room apparently there you go yeah. Yeah, keep the feng shui happy. All right. All right. Well, um, yeah. Continuing on, we'll finish off soon, I guess. But um, what are some going... final points we can go back on topic here with? Um, I get. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, look, people can change, and there's. Um, <laughs> I know. I said I was gonna going to. I can't yeah. really. I, knew... I can't really. Yeah, I can't really think of. Look, I'm probably the wrong person to be really talking about this too. Um. Yeah, Thanks, people boys. can change, and there's scientific um, backing for that. So believe the science. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Well, yeah. Look, apparently treatment is pretty much like the the thing that will change personalities. So um, now go on about exposure therapy. What? I don't know enough about it to be. What highly... do you know? What do you know? I. It's it's basically. Ex- Exposing yourself to, um, like not running around naked, like not no, exposing it, yourself that no, way. No, it's, it's like, if you have a fear of flying, the best thing you can do is jump on an airplane. That's me. I jumped on an airplane. I were you got, arre- got arrested though. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no. Jumped on an airplane. You're like, like, jumped oh, on you actually an airplane. Jumped on it. No, it was a joke. It was anyway. It wasn't. Don't worry. It doesn't. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But yeah, look. Studies also say that personality changes over time. Hmm. 
So it's like six months is normally when you can start to um change. Which makes I sense. need to give up chocolate. I need to change. So six months time, I'll get back to you on. We might, even, we might even be out of lockdown by then, Charlie. Well, we might be. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Four years. Um, nah. so, some no, personalities no. are more responsive to treatment. Yeah. Um, but not mine. No, I'm pretty pretty psycho. Um, <laughs> uh, what's a good TV series you've been watching recently? Why is that... Why are you bring this up, though? I bring this up because I've been watching the US Office, That's and a just good makes show, me laugh. But I watched it. I've watched it too much now that I'm like, eh. does it not? Do you not crack up though? I don't. Know, yeah, but I it just I I wouldn't go and watch it like like I love it. Don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't go and watch it like if I was bored right now. This is what's been picking me up because I've been really down. We've ever yeah. been recently, but it's like that's what picks me up is just having a good laugh. Comedy. Like, yeah, comedy. Yeah. yeah. That's like YouTube with me sometimes. I don't watch a lot of YouTube, but yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, look, a lot of it comes down to therapy and actually wanting to um change. Mm. Um. So I think there's so much. There's so much more, and we could on this topic, but like I don't know. It's just there's nothing on my head like yeah no that's fair like, enough bit, and i feel like we've, got, we've gotten through most of it to be honest um i'm just reading something here a lot of personality and treatment is actually a return to a person's level of functioning before their anxiety depression or other condition people often come to treatment because they feel like they're not their best selves no longer as patient agreeable relaxed or outgoing as treatment takes hold, people often describe feeling more like themselves again. So, okay. what are we what saying think, then yeah. that people that are changing actually are just they haven't always been ha- like? Just say you want to stop being a narcissist, so you mm. go and get therapy, and you actively want to change that. Does that mean that narcissism is something that has grown on you and that therefore it's not actually who you are in general? Can you be born with anxiety? I think you can. Yes, genetically people are more, well, not born, but I think it's genetically more grown. Like I am. I don't know if your family is the same, but. No, just a lot of heart defects. In my family, no, there's a lot of heart, de- a lot no, of heart relevant. disease in the family. <laughs> Probably going to drop dead How any stage right? of heart failure. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I guess um, we've kind of covered everything. It's hard to change. I know that firsthand. It's hard to break habit. Um, what else? Last thing. The four barriers of change. It's really hard for any any one of us to achieve significant change in our lives. Wanting something to to change can lead to resentment on both sides. Uh, There can be bigger reasons why someone won't change. And the fourth is maybe it's not them, it's you. So if someone keeps on doing things that they know hurt us or themselves, it's hard to say how long we should keep on hoping for the light to go on. Especially when our sincere efforts seem to seem un- unappreciated. Um, yeah. So yeah, look, there's a lot on this. I think we've covered most of it. But, mm-hmm. uh, I'm really... Do you know, what? it's a bit. I'm a bit blank space at the moment. Like That's I can't fair. really. Um, it's cool. So I'm ready to end here. Make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you listen to Zero Barriers Podcast. Um, it's also on YouTube, although, yeah, they took one of our videos down, I'm not sure why. Um, I noticed you changed the title. I did a little bit. The last video. Yeah. Yeah. Who did the illustrations? Who did the, did the cat for... That uh, was, um, Laura, so shout out Laura. Um. It's really talented. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a new intro for this week, so Charlie. Oh. Check it yeah. out. 
I got a friend no to Kanye. make a cool, a cool little intro. Oh. No, I, I might add the Kanye on. I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll see. I guess that is still copyright, so... It's, it's all part of the editing process. <laughs> <laughs> What's our next topic? Uh, and... Thanks for listening. What is next? Yeah. What is next? Um, what is next in life? There's people... Someone got in touch with me via the... Uh, Interwebs platform, the Red Circle app ho- podcast hosting, and mm-hmm. we'll keep to join our podcast. Oh so yeah, please. They're in a different time zone. They sounded American though, but they said they're only two hours behind. So I don't know how I that can works. I can do an American accent. Uh, no, that's not. What we're uh, I'm in beautiful uh, Chicago at the moment. Uh, it's fair. <laughs> but yeah, no, we'll end it there. But uh, yeah, look, if you got any comments mm. or questions just hit me up on the ig the instagram and charlie what's your um your, your your instagram you want people to follow the only one i want people to follow well the only one they can follow me on yeah what what is it called it's called get rid of social media <laughs> dot com, dot com. Want, i, I want, said i was starting a business to, did you want people to follow you can film? you can tag i think just i will tag, tag it. it just tag it just tag it Okay, well, I, I was going to finish up with something, but I can't remember what it was. Do you have a life hack before we end? Yeah, I was watching all these TikTok, uh, TikTok, 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 no, TikTok. Um, uh, and there's lots of different life hacks on there, but they're really stupid ones. They're like, like cooking hacks, like that sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen those ones? I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I have um, seen one like that where you get watermelon and vodka and, like, you cut open the watermelon and you pour the vodka in. Those sorts Sounds of Sounds dangerous, to be honest. God, what's the first thing you're going to do when we get out of lockdown? Uh, probably go and have a quiet one at the, the local... Because oh, with my mask on, because you know how that you know how it works. Mask no, I won't. No, uh, whatever. What by Christmas? By December? I reckon. Yeah, it's gonna be a long time. But yeah, look, lockdown sucks. And if anyone is struggling, as I've been saying in the last few um, podcasts, make sure to reach out. But and, you know what doesn't help is people protesting against it. So. That's true. Don't do that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Naughty. Apparently, there's another pro- protest plan. Oh, I know. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, see you guys. Thanks for listening. Ciao.